right now. Closing arguments underway in former President Trump's hush money trial. His defense team making one last pitch to the jury. And President Biden under pressure once again after that Israeli airstrike on Rafah kills more than 40 civilians. And later, American missionaries killed in Haiti as gang violence plagues the Caribbean nation. It is the top of the hour. Thank you so much for staying with us. I'm Nicole Burley in Chicago. And we start this hour with the closing arguments in the criminal hush money trial of former President Trump. The prosecution about to make its final case to a dozen jurors and six alternates after a month and a half of testimony. The former president and presumptive 2024 Republican nominee pleading not guilty to 34 felony counts of falsifying business records. Trump's lead attorney spending most of his closing argument this morning attacking Michael Cohen, calling the main prosecution witness a liar on multiple occasions. The Manhattan District Attorney's Office has long said Cohen is not the one on trial, calling 19 other witnesses and presenting more than 200 pieces of evidence to the jury. So let's bring in senior correspondent Laura Engel, who is live outside of the courthouse. And Laura, we know the lead prosecutor plans to spend several hours driving that point home. That's right, Nicole. And we have been told that it could be about four and a half hours. And if history tells us anything, they're pretty much are staying pretty close to what they tell us to expect. So we're going to be here for the remainder of the afternoon, hearing from the prosecutor, the prosecution on this side, and now that the defense has wrapped up. And what the prosecution team now needs to do is tie it all together. They've been laying down this narrative for these last several weeks throughout this trial, talking about all the alleged misdeeds they believe the former president had done to falsify business records, cover it up to get to those hush money payments for Stormy Daniels out of the 2016 presidential election. So we heard from a lot of witnesses as we discussed, and this is the time where prosecutors will kind of piece it all together and try and make it all make sense because it's a lot for jurors to try and remember. They all are taking notes and paying very close attention from what we've been told from everybody that's been inside of court, uh, but now's their chance to shine. And just on the heels of this lunch break, from when the defense had its turn to talk about what happened here at this trial, giving their closing arguments, talking about, as you mentioned, Michael Cohen being a liar multiple times, kind of almost giving a greatest hit of some of the things that they say he's done, listing 10 reasons um, why he is a liar, uh, saying that Michael Cohen, let's get to a list here to show you that they said President Trump did not commit any crime. The DA did not meet their burden of proof. You should expect more than the testimony of Michael Cohen, again, who they keep calling a liar. They said, the defense, you could not convict President Trump of any crime based on the words of Michael Cohen. And Todd Blanche, the defense attorney, also called Cohen a gloat, the greatest liar of all time. A little play on words when people call people the goat uh, for what he was scolded for outside of the presence of the jury. The judge took issue with that name calling, saying that he should know better. He has been practicing law an awful long time, and he should not be basically stooping to that level of calling him a name in court. Uh, so that happened outside of the presence of the jury. Now everybody's cool in their heels. They took a break. We are set to get underway. We understand the former president and his family back in the courtroom right now. And then we're going to hear what they have to say and how they can convince these jurors that the former president is guilty of 34 counts. So off we wait now for that to happen, Nicole. Off we wait. All right, Laura Ingle live for us there in Lower Manhattan. Laura, thank you. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.